So we are talking about the future of real estate here. Today is Monday. No, today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday here at around six o'clock here in seven. the office. Seven. Seven. seven o'clock. Sorry, at seven o'clock here in the office uh, with Sovi. We have Mary here. We have TC Katarina still in the office and TC Anna. TC Anna is still. It's still right there. But it's a big, uh, big news today uh, for real estate industry. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, there's been major class action lawsuits. And in fact, today, the Department of Justice actually uh, pursuing this. They're looking at documents. Uh, they, what, they, what they don't want here, Sophie, is that price fixing. Yes. Right? Price fixing means what, what they don't want is uh, in this country, it's illegal for two competing brokers, yes. people who don't know, uh, for example, company A. It's like if you're McDonald's and Burger King. Yes. If you're McDonald's and Burger Kings, we cannot get together and say, hey, uh, the price of hamburgers today is 99 cents, for example, right? Yes. But uh, real estate industry, so that's what the Department of Justice is pursuing. But what's cool is that in our, op in our company, for the past five years, we have been teaching the real estate agent in our company on how to negotiate their own fees, right? Uh, and there's many benefits of it. So, but Sophie here, Sophie here is a master on negotiating their own fees. Thanks not so only, <laughs> not Thanks only, so not only you are in compliance with the U.S. Department of Justice. Not only that, Sophie. Uh, how does it? Can you talk to me? If if I'm the buyers, I'm looking to buy homes. Uh, if I go to a typical <coughs> uh, real estate agent, what would you, what would the buyer's experience be? Uh, versus like the type of homes uh, versus if I go to you and you are with a different company before. Can you share your experience in terms of uh, buyers negotiation, you know, buyers fees? There's, I, I want to make sure the conversation today, we want to focus on uh, buyers negotiation, uh, buyers, uh, how do you say, the buyers agent negotiating their own fees, basically. Certainly. Uh, I can speak from my experience both coming in from the outside and also from experience hearing it directly from from customers that come to us mm. and tell us about their experience having worked with outside agents and knock on our doors and, and come and get help. Um, basically, outside the training that I had received previously uh, in another brokerage firm was that if the so-called buyer's agent commission BAC is less than a certain amount, then actually we filter out those Was homes. that actually part of the training or that's just a practice that everybody uh, happened to do? That's actually part of the training between agents. Actually, oh, really? Between agents. <laughs> I thought it's just uh, because when I first got my license in 2007, I remember uh, experience agent, they get together and it's kind of like people chatting, yes, you know, yes, and they yes. say, oh, well, the, can you imagine what if the buyers know the truth about real estate agent? And when I say that, I meant they are showing homes that, ma that match, that meet the agent's commission criteria yes, yes. instead of the buyer's. Uh, yes. Home buying criteria. Yes. That's crazy. It's agents first. It's agents first. Yes. <laughs> I know that's very messed up. It's, it's actually what we're not supposed to do with the agency relationship. It's already violating the agency relationship. That's violation in so many different yes. ways. Fiduciary. Yes. How about that to begin yes. with? Yes. Right. You're supposed to put your clients' interest first. Yes. And the other part that really left, um, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> I would say, uh, image in my mind was. Um, one transaction that I did within that company, that brokerage firm, uh, we actually had 5000 in addition uh, commission that, that was agreed to by the seller's agent. The seller's agent actually was the mother of the owner of the property. And so there was disagreement, and the disagreement was um, $12,000. Sorry, not twelve thousand, twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, without without going in specific, but the general principle is the same, right? Yes. Uh, most uh, the way industry norms and standards is that the real estate agents, because mm -hmm. I don't think it's because they are lazy, Sophie, or they are trying to do anything illegal or something. Mm -hmm. I think it's because there's lack of training, and when I say lack of training, is because how many how many uh, real estate training that you see actually training real estate agent on how to set negotiate and collect their own buyer's broker fees. Most training in real estate industry today are teaching real estate agent on 
on marketing, prospecting, looking for customers. Yes. So if real estate agents, you are watching this and you go to training 80% of the time and you are trained on how to look for customers, then naturally real estate agents, they don't have time to learn on how to skill up. Yes. So they don't, all their time is basically looking for customers. Very true. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, here in our company, because the way our system is set up, the real estate agent in my company, they don't need to do any more prospecting, cold calling, door knocking. They spend 100% of the time uh, servicing the, so Sophie yes. here, if you are not with the clients, you actually in training. Yes. Right. Can you talk more, uh, let's talk about our training. How are you able to show homes? I think the buyer's agent, the reason real estate agents are not showing homes uh, that match the buyer's criteria, they don't know how to get paid. And I understand, like, if they don't know how to get paid, then if they work for free, then they're going to be starved to death, <laughs> right? So, so uh, can you describe what was the training before and after? Like, what was the training before you joined our company? And what's the training now that allows you to put the, you know, that allows you to show homes that match the buyer's criteria, including for sale by owners and homes that the buyers cannot see online? Yes. So previously, I came from the outside world, and on the outside world, it's really agents first and brokerage first, which means that we want to make sure we show the home that has the highest agreed upon buyer's agent commission already. That's preset, by the way. Number one, number two, we were taught to send automatic emails. So it's very simply done. We just uh, identify very simple criteria, three bed, two bath, here's the city and it's email dumping so every day the emails are just automatically being sent to the clients it's then, like the client's job yes. for you to get paid <laughs> the clients have to look through sift through everything there's a lot of information and then uh, the clients will come to the agent and tell the agent these are the homes i want to see so the agent pretty much uh, has a touch point with the client and pretty much that's it and you go on to the next one and the next one and then the more you have the more chances you have of closing that way also, it's very focused on the brokerage firm, meaning there is no negotiation. I, I try to resolve that issue uh, in a specific transaction where we had an additional 5000 on top of the buyer's agent commission that's already on the, BA, uh, on the BAC. Um, and there was a little bit, a little bit more than $1,000 difference, and the broker really gave me a really, really hard time for trying to resolve it by making a sale and just paying it off because our commission on that one was over thirteen. Uh, let's focus on. Let's mm -hmm. focus on what we do. Sure. We don't so want to. We don't want to talk about. So let's talk about our VIP buyer system and yes. how does it benefits the consumers, mm -hmm. especially now. If you are a real estate agent watching this, you really have to pay attention on how to learn on how to not dependent on the MLS because yes. one day. And it's going to be in your lifetime, in our lifetime, less than five years from now. Basically, for sure, in our lifetime, the MLS commission uh, cooperating broker fees will be zero. Oh, yes. It's going all the way yes. down to zero. Mm -hmm. uh, and zero means it's negoti yes. negotiable. Yes. So let's talk about your, uh, our VIP buyer system and how is it becoming more relevant than ever before. It's more relevant because we remove the dollar concept out of the whole equation altogether by really focusing on what the clients need. A lot of times the clients come to us, they don't know how to verbalize what they need. So we have to go really deep to serve them, to know the whys of why they're looking for home, why they're looking to sell. So with really getting to know them, we become friends and we help them navigate through this whole complex area of buying, of selling. Let's focus on the money. Loan. So on the money part, uh, because we are, we are helping the clients with everything. Uh, so literally the clients don't view us differently than escrow or the lender or just anyone who's kind of a touch point within this entire transaction. So we're able to negotiate our own fee and just like Luis has set and negotiate and collect our so own fee. So it's a three-step process. Yes. It's a three-step process. Yes. Uh, you need to know how to set your own buyer's broker fees. Yes. You need to learn on how to negotiate your own buyer's broker fees, mm -hmm. and you need to learn on how to collect your own broker yes. buyer's broker fees. Yes. If you know how to set 
negotiate and collect your own buyer's broker fees, then you are no longer entitled to, you are no longer dependent on mm -hmm. whatever it says on the MLS. So you don't care if, uh, number one, you don't even care if the property is on the MLS. That's right. why right. Uh, Sovi are able to every day uh, showing homes that uh, including for sale by owners, yes. homes that's previously listed, new homes, new construction, foreclosure. Yes. You don't care as long as the homes match the buyers, the client's right. criteria. And I have gone to knock on doors also, not knowing whether or not the owner of the home may It's a for sale to... by owner or, or it's just a normal house. It's Any house, house that matches the buyer's criteria. Correct. So Correct. if I'm the buyers, I'm looking to buy homes between Main Street and First Street, then mm -hmm. uh, once Sophie knows, then you just go straight to the owner of the house. Yes. Right? Knock on the door. So we basically, uh, here in our company, we teach, because the real estate agent in our company, because they don't need to do any more prospecting, mm -hmm. cold calling, door knocking, mm -hmm. it allows us on the training, what we do on the training, we teach them, we teach Sovi on how to treat the buyers like a listing appointment. Yes. Same thing. Just like on a listing appointment, real estate agents wouldn't start putting a for sale sign and start working. Mm -hmm until there's an agreement between the owner of the house and the agent. Yes. But on the buyer side, I don't know, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, so all we are doing when we talk about setting the buyer's broker fees, there's gotta be an agreement between the buyers and yes. the agent. Yes, now, exactly. the, the buyers are not just gonna agree on a fees with no benefits, Correct. right? So let's highlight, we have 15 benefits. We call it our VIP buyer's benefits. Yes. We have 15 bullet points, but let's highlight maybe one, two, or three, Sophie. Like, if I'm the buyers, why would I hire? Why would I work you? Why would I hire you to be my buyer's agent instead of going to your competitors? Or I could have just go directly to the owner of the house, go to the listing agent. The most prominent ones that I've learned through working with the buyer clients uh, that become friends with us is are, are uh, a few. One of them is really helping them get their loan done, and this is a one-stop shop and guaranteeing to them that you will get your loan approved uh, even before or at the time that we're putting in an offer. And by that, we can make the offer good as cash for them and make it a shorter time period for them. And we are very strong partners with our lenders. They're very dependable. That's very powerful. So yes. when we submit an offer, the offer is no longer subject to financing. So right. your, your, your offer are more likely yes. to get accepted. Yes. So that's one. The second, let's talk about the house because this, that's the context of this lawsuit here. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the house, we really, our time is really freed up because this is a really, really a team system where different partners within the team have very, very focused job to do. And that allows uh, myself, uh, one of the partners is an outside sales agent that can really focus on quality time. So by that, we can have the time we need to, for example, the way I serve my clients as part of the system, following the system, Moody system, is looking, th actually look, looking through and filtering out homes that do not meet the buyer's criteria. And it's more than three bad, two bad. It can be how it's facing, it could be the color, it could be just different aspects of the home that saves time. For the and buyer. that's not just on the MLS. Yes. Because, you, because you know how to set, negotiate, mm -hmm. and collect your own buyer's broker fees, yes. you don't care whether the house is on the MLS. Correct. You don't even care how much it's showing on the MLS. Correct. So now you focus on what match the buyer's criteria, yes. including for sale by owners, homes yes. that's previously listed, yes. expired, cancelled, withdrawn, yes. uh, bank foreclosure, new homes, new construction, it doesn't really matter. Yes. All we do here yes. is that we are teaching real estate agents on uh, on how to negotiate on their own buyer's broker yes. fees. That's yes. the issue with these lawsuits. Yes. The lawsuits uh, that the Department of Justice now investigating is that as an industry, mm -hmm. uh, the agents are relying on the MLS for the fees, and then yes. the listing agent are negotiating are are negotiating the buyer's broker fees Correct. to the owner of the house. Correct. That's the issue. Yes. And that's for the past five years, we've been teaching the real estate agents basically to negotiate your own fees. Yes. yes. So it's a simple process. Not only, it's, uh, not only you are in compliance, now the, the client's benefits, because now we can show all homes to the buyers, including for sale by owners, homes that never. Yes. The question is this, if you work with the buyers, and if I'm the buyers, if I buy homes from you, 
or your competitor, Sophie, mm-hmm. uh, is our buyers eventually end up with the same homes anyway. Because if I'm the buyers, I go with you, or I go with your competitors, or I go directly to the listing agent. If I eventually be end up with the same homes anyway, then you add no value to this transaction. You're exactly. useless, yes. right? So, uh, so I'm inviting you, if you're a real estate agent in the area, and if you are still doing the old fashioned way, right? Just going through the MLS to look, to show homes to the buyers. Uh, I have bad news for you. I'm sorry, it's not me. I'm, uh, it's the industry. The bad news is this. As technology becoming more and more and more and more advanced, mm-hmm. the moment that homes hit the MLS, guess what? Here in my area, it gets syndicated to over 15,000 end user website. So if all you do, just emailing homes to the buyers, you are useless. No, uh, so what we do here, I'm inviting you to, uh, to a backstage tour of the real estate office of the future. When I say the real estate office of the future is where you no longer, number one, you no longer have to do cold calling, door knocking, prospecting, but because you don't need to do that, you spend 100% of your time now learning on how to negotiate because as technology becoming more advanced, yes. You know where the value, the value of a real estate agent is actually here. Yes. Uh, not skill. And your heart. Yes. And, and your care. Yes. And, but you, you cannot just uh, care if you don't get paid. So that's why we teach you uh, how to set, negotiate, collect your own buyer's mm-hmm. broker fees so you get paid. Oh, by the way, Sophie, as you know, in the last 30 years, the cooperating broker fees on the MLS, if you look at the MLS in the last 30 years, mm-hmm. 20 years, 10 years, Do you think the commission is going up or going down? The average. From what I've seen, it's going down. It's going down. Yes. yes. Right? Uh, Because technology becoming more advanced. Like, why why should I pay buyer's agent? In fact, Redfin. Redfin just launched last week. Uh, Last week, Redfin basically uh, is a public knowledge. They basically say, I don't need, like, we we cut out this buyer's agent. are useless. You know, because now they just put a button Mm -hmm. on the website. If you want to put an offer, just go put an offer direct. Sure. Right. So now what we do, oh, by the way, you personally, Sophie, you personally applying our VIP buyer system, uh, you joined the company two years ago. So your income, last year. yeah, last year, yes. mm-hmm. your income in the last three years, that means before and after you join, is it going up or is it going down? It's, it's going up. Yeah, Sophie here is dangerous. <laughs> the average on the MLS, the average buyer's agent fees, I think is less than 2%. Correct. Right? Uh, I think you get paid. People won't believe it. (laughs) Three and a four percent. I get paid. Yes, average. Yeah, average. 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 Okay. So if you uh, and more important than that is that we uh, we get the highest. uh, You personally get the highest number of five star reviews, endorsements from our clients, repeat business, repeat clients. And the reason you have repeat business, repeat clients, and five star reviews is because you every day focus on showing homes to the buyers, including homes that they cannot see online. Mm -hmm. What a novel idea, right? Can you imagine? So now when the buyer's looking to buy homes, every day you focus on showing homes, Mm -hmm. including for sale by owners, bank foreclosure, short sale, home that's not. So now price is only a function in the absence of value. So now if you are the only one, Mm -hmm. you are the only real estate agent in town, that's showing buyers homes every day, uh, homes that they cannot see online, naturally, what happens to your income? Naturally, they see that as a value and they're yeah, willing to Yeah, it's kind of that. common yes. sense. <laughs> they see that so, I take care of them, they want to take care of me. Yeah, so this is, there is no genius behind this. This is just pretty much uh, adding values to a transaction. Yes. As technology becoming more and more and more advanced, mm-hmm. then we put humanity, we put elements that the machine cannot do. Yes. So if you are a real estate agent watching this, if what you do, so uh, you may want to take notes on this. If what you do, if the machine, if the machine can do Thank what you, you do, mm-hmm. then you should be very worried because... You're replaceable. You are replaceable. You will be replaced. In fact, you are replacing, being replaced right now as we speak, yeah. right? We have many companies so now, Redfin, Zillow. So the buyers just cut you off because there is no value. Right. So if you want to so you wanna, you wanna take, uh, take notes, you take notes on this. If what you do, 
if the machine can do what you do, no matter what you do, right? If the machine, if you are a bank teller, if you work in a bank, and if you are teller, you'll be replaced. Yes, that's already happened. Yeah, right. if you go to McDonald's. Supermarkets. Yeah, supermarket. If you yes. go to McDonald's order now, yes. all the order takers yes. replaced by machine. Yes. Do you realize if you go to McDonald's now, uh, mm -hmm. there's only one teller, and it's all the machine. You just call, uh, give me combo number one. Same thing in real estate industry. Mm -hmm. If what you do... is commodity. It's commodity, right. Yes. If, if the place. machine can do what you do, mm -hmm. then you will be replaced. However, the good news is this. The machine cannot do everything. There are certain things that the machine cannot do. Right. So, Sophie, how is it that your income, you get paid, oh my gosh, right? If, okay, uh, you get paid three, four, five, six, seven percent. Like, that's crazy. Most people don't believe it anyway, but doesn't really matter. Uh, but the point is, how are you able to get paid double, triple, quadruple more than the average MLS agent in the area? Like, what do you do? I, I really care for the clients and we really become friends. I am very accessible, just like part of the system. One of the benefits, one of the 15 benefits, some of the clients, they will reach out at two in the morning or 11.30 at night, different times. I'm available and they see that I care. And I really follow the system thoroughly. So I am the one-stop shop. They, they kind of know what escrow is because I explain to them the process. But as far as escrow papers, loan work, loan papers, uh, any lender information, termite, everything, I am the one-stop shop. So because of that, they see this is a kind of white glove kind of country of service. So that's the reason they're willing to trust so, me. So the machine cannot replace right. humanity, yes. cares, mm -hmm. you love them, you care. Okay, that's Thank good. You. But yes. let's, uh, something of tangible, because today the topic is this lawsuit here, mm -hmm. the homes. Yes. Uh, can you recap again? Uh, because I want to make sure we have a lot of real estate agents asking questions now mm -hmm. because they don't understand. They think the only way to show homes is just emailing from the MLS because that's how they were taught, right? Okay. Some of them been in business for like uh, 10, 15, 20 years. That's all they know how to do. They, 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 there's no, they think there's no other option. Actually, I have clients. I'm serving clients constantly that tell me they're bombarded with too many emails. They are digging their way out. They say that they're too busy. They don't know what to do. They're overwhelmed. They, they're getting bombarded by Zillow, by different agents. So doing the same thing as everybody else does, especially a machine can do, offers no value. So uh, I follow the system by really caring for them to know what it is they, they the why behind why they are buying, their timing, what makes sense for them. There has been so many situations uh, over and over again, myself and friends and colleagues within the same office, where the buyer came in thinking this is a home I want, but they walk out with a totally different home. Why? Because we care enough following the system. We care enough to really understand with their life what it is that works for their lives. And it's a lot more than much beyond the three bed, two bath. And the only door knocking we do is when our clients say, here's a home that I like, it may not be on sale, and we knock on the door to make an offer. Yeah, I think this week, uh, Michelle and uh, Ryan or somebody, two, we opened, uh, we sold two homes this week. The home is never even uh, uh, on, the on the market, right? Because we just go straight to the yes. owner of the house. Yes. Hey, this is an all cash offer. Mm -hmm. uh, See, it's as if I bring a briefcase suit of cash. Yes. Hey, this is all the Benjamins. Are you ready to move? Uh, the owner say, uh, sure. Right? Uh, we sold two homes this week just by that. So that's all the training that we do here in the yes. office. Yes. The training is teaching you yes. on how to uh, not rely your income on the MLS. Mm -hmm. Once you are not relying on the MLS, then you can really focus on what's best for the clients. Yes. Yes. Right? So that's how we are able to show for sale by owners, bank foreclosures. Uh, it's all learning on how to negotiate your own buyer's broker fees. So if you've never been to the real estate office of the future, even if you've been before, I'm inviting you in light of these new lawsuits and all these developments and stuff in the industry, uh, the old fashioned way of doing real estate. It's not going to work. So I'm inviting you for a private backstage tour of our team so you can see how the team system actually benefiting the clients. 
benefiting the real estate agents, benefiting the uh, the community in general, right? You're actually adding value. So all you need to do call to set up a private backstage tour of our real estate sales team. All you need to do call 626-789-0159. Again, to set up a private backstage tour of our real estate sales team, call 626-789-0159, yes. right? And let's, let's talk to our young uh, rising star here, Mary. I know, Mary, you are super busy. Mary is super busy, but let me see. I know, uh, you have an appointment coming up soon? Yes. I know, Mary, I just have a quick question. So this week, uh, this week, I mean this month, this month you uh, help how many families? Five or six? Uh, four. Four? Yes. Mary here uh, sold four homes in a month, uh, all buyers. But... Uh, when you work with buyers, most real estate agents are being taught to email homes. The problem with emailing homes is that, like Sophie was saying, is that emailing homes that the buyers already seen online, right? That's useless. The most useless thing real estate agents can do is to email homes to the buyers. Mm -hmm. The buyers already seen the house. And worse, Mary, if the more you email homes, they associate your face with homes that don't match the buyer's criteria. The more emails you send, the less they see value in you, right? So you, you sold four homes in a month, uh, for, serve four families uh, this month in May. What month is this now? Uh, May. May. Yeah, yes. I was like, what month are we now? <laughs> May 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, can you share, like, what do you do to add values to serve the buy our buyer's clients here? Um, so First of all, are you emailing homes? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so uh, basically um, we listen to the client carefully what they want, and then uh, we just keep it in mind, and then we looking for home that match the criteria, not our commission criteria. But so, but, but um, that doesn't mean you don't get paid. In fact, Mary, on average, get paid about 3.5%. But question, where are you looking for home out in addition to the MLS? We are not saying we don't use MLS. Of course we use the MLS. Yes. The clients use the MLS. The MLS is simple. Mm -hmm. They see it online. It gets syndicated to 15,000 and user website. That's kind of given. But mm -hmm. in addition to homes that's available on the MLS, where else are we looking for homes that match the buyer's criteria? So we have Silo by uh, sell by owner. We have uh, our pocket listing. Some our, of our coming soon. And... Um, or other websites too that we can uh, get access to home that the buyer cannot see on uh yeah. other website that syndicate from the MLS. So every day you and Sophie focus on mm -hmm. what the buyers are looking for and then we just show them homes. Mm -hmm. And you guys don't need to worry about your commission. How, how is it you don't need to worry about commission? Because most real estate agents, they are so worried. They're looking at the MLS. Oh my gosh, how much am I going to pay? When you show homes, do you even look at that? Do you even care how much the MLS, whatever? No. Yeah. No. no, and but that doesn't mean you don't get paid. Mm -hmm. uh, this these people are making a lot of money, but that doesn't mean you don't get paid, right? So how do you get paid if, if, let's say for sale by owners or expired, cancel listings, withdraw new homes, a Zillow coming soon, mm -hmm. homes that's not available on the MLS? Like how are you able to get paid? Because there is no preset agreement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we have negotiated the price. I mean our fee with the buyer upfront. So wow, what a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, the lawsuits now that's going on right now with the mm -hmm. Department of Justice, in fact, all they want to do is that. All they want to do is the buyer's agent negotiate their own fees. Mm -hmm. It really is not a big deal. We've been doing it for the past, I don't know, how long is this? <laughs> Since yeah. maybe three, four, five years, five years now, we've been teaching real estate agent on basically negotiating our own fees. Mm -hmm. So really, all this commotion... It's nothing. I don't even have, so I have to read, you know, when, when I, like today, for example, Department of Justice investigate, I have to read this like three, four, five, six times, just I'm trying to understand like what the issue here. Basically what they want, the buyer's agent to negotiate their own buyer's broker fees. That's all. They want, basically what they want is essentially uh, on the MLS, it's supposed to be all zero. Because when it says zero on the MLS, it's all it means is that you negotiate buyer's broker fees. Mm -hmm. So if I'm the listing agent, I'm negotiating my own fees to represent the sellers, mm -hmm. and you, when you represent the buyers, negotiate your own fees. Exactly our VIP buyer's program mm -hmm. for the past maybe six years when we've been doing it. So if you are a real estate agent watching this, oh, by the way, you sold four homes in a month. How many homes did you sell this month uh, in the last uh, two I months? Three years closed and closing. 
three. In about, in, in about a week. Okay, so if you want to learn on how to be like Sophie and how to be like Mary here, closing three, four homes in a month, do you guys do any door knocking, cold calling, prospecting? No. Only if our clients want that home. But you're submitting an offer. Yes. Right? Yes. When, 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 when we speak to our real estate agents about door knocking, their perception is door knocking, right. looking for customers, right? right. So uh, here in our team, we do absolutely no cold calling, no door knocking, no prospecting of any kind. Our clients come to us. Yeah. Yes. So we book a buy. We are the only real estate company that book buyers and listing appointments for real estate agents. But not just appointments. The the more more important than that is the training. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we speak about how to negotiate your own buyer's broker fees, mm -hmm. which is a big deal now, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm inviting you to stop by the real estate office of the future. All you need to do call six two six seven eight nine zero one five nine. Again, six two six seven eight nine zero one five nine. Say hi to Sophie. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Mary when you come here, mm -hmm. and uh, you can ask them any 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 question, right? Uh, we are very transparent. We have nothing to hide. We are here. We want to help as many real estate agents as we can. Together, we can change. Yes. We can change the real estate industry to put what's best for the consumers.